and I'm not trying to be racist, okay? But it's a black thing, okay? You know, I was trained, and most black folks, they hide cash, or they keep cash, and uh, I was, no, I trained, you always keep some cash, because uh, I've been places, and just because of the color of my skin, for example, I took a fellowship at Harvard, when my daughter was just a, a if I might, Your Honor, if I might, when I was just, uh, she was just, you know, maybe three years old. And I remember going to a restaurant in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and I had a American Express credit card and maybe a visa or whatever. And uh, I had a lot of um, what they call traveler's checks. I don't even know if they still have traveler's checks, but traveler's checks. And there was a sign said, you know, with the credit card. For whatever reasons, the man would not take my American Express credit card. So I pulled out my visa card, and he wouldn't take my visa card. So then I pulled out my traveler's checks. He said, we don't take checks. Now, this was, these were traveler's checks. This was money. I had a $10 bill. I'll never forget this as long as I live. And uh, he said, uh, uh, the bill for my wife at the time, uh, Fanny's mother, Friday and myself was like nine dollars and ninety five cents, and I had a ten dollar bill. That was all. That. I always remember that. Um, but even before that, I've always kept cash. I, you know, and I've told my daughter, "You keep six months' worth of cash always." For example, I had three safes in my house. Um, I put some of my clients' stuff there too. Uh, things I didn't want other lawyers to be, I mean, because you're always in a firm, and I knew that there were special conditions, so some of my clients' things I would bring home, put them in the safe, but I've always kept safes, and as a matter of fact, I gave my daughter uh, her first cash box and told her, always keep some cash.